I'm Stan from Fender, and we're here today with Josh Smith, and we're looking at the Compugilist. The Compugilist is part compressor and half of a Pugilist distortion all rolled up into one pedal. So let's look around the panel and see what we find. On the compressor side, there's a control for the amount of compression, there's a control for the recovery time. That affects how quickly the compressor comes back up to volume. You know, a compressor's job, when you play and you dig in all of a sudden, it'll grab the part that gets louder and bring the volume down. The recovery time says how long does it take to get back up to full volume again. So short settings can be really responsive, but sometimes they can sound a little choppy. When you make it too long, sometimes that next note you hit ends up being too quiet. So somewhere in the middle there's a setting that'll feel natural, sound great. Lastly, there's a level control that affects the overall output level of the compressor. This compressor is capable of adding a lot of clean boost without having a lot of compression too. So if you just want to use it like a clean boost in front of the drive, you can do that. And then there's a LED called GR, which stands for gain reduction, and that thing lights up when the compressor actually grabs hold of the signal. So one of the ways that I set the threshold control is I'll increase it until on loud guitar peaks I can just see the LED start to come on, and that kind of tells your ear, even though the compressor is really subtle, it gives you a good clue that something's kind of starting to happen. There's a bypass foot switch for it. It's true bypass, of course. It's all analog. On the distortion side, there's a gain control, there's a tone control, there's an output level control, and there's a toggle switch for bass boost. The bass boost is useful. If you're playing through a fully, totally clean amp, kicking the bass boost on will kind of fill out the low end a little bit and make it sound more natural. If you're playing through another pedal, like stacking with something, or you're playing through an amp that's already a little distorted, sometimes having that bass boost on can be a little too muddy, so flip it off for a little more articulation. There's a true bypass foot switch down here as well. Let's get into some of the sounds, but first, Josh, what are you playing? I'm playing a Ventera 60s Tele modified, and we're plugged into a 68 Custom Deluxe Reverb. Awesome. And uh, here's the guitar with the pedal bypassed. <laughs> All right, let's start with the compressor. I'm gonna set the threshold really low, so it's gonna hardly do anything. When Josh digs in, it'll grab some of the peaks. It's not gonna sound like it's doing much. It's very transparent. Yep. I'll add a little more compression to get a little squishier. Next, let's jump over to the distortion side. I'm going to start with the gain pretty low, so it'll be fairly clean. And then as Josh plays, I'll turn the gain up a little more. All right. The bass boost, let's go through that. Here's off. 
on it. You can hear the extra fullness there. Absolutely. Okay. And the tone control. The tone control goes from very bright to extremely muted. So if your amp has a bright switch, it's a great way to kind of tame that, but still retain crystal clear, clean tones. Let's play with some of the combined sounds. All right. Kick a little compression on. I'm gonna drop the gain a little bit. Get a little rootsy. Try that same thing with the bass boost off. And while this is meant to be a low to mid gain distortion side, by combining the two halves, you can actually get a lot of gain out of it for single note playing. So I'm gonna turn the level down, I'm gonna crank the gain up and turn up a bunch of compression and then it should be really good and fat for single note stuff. the sustain at the end of it. All right, that was a look at the Compugilist compressor and distortion pedal. Josh, thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Stan, man. Great pedal. Thank you. Great. For more information on the Compugilist as well as the full line of Fender pedals, go to Fender.com and stick around for more videos. Would you play us out? Absolutely.